In this video, let us learn about heredity. This is for class 10, term 2, chapter 9, heredity. Here we go. First, I am giving some definitions. Heredity. The transfer of characters from parent to the offspring. Okay, that is heredity. So, how will you define heredity? It is the transfer of characters from parent to the offspring. Characters can also be called as traits. Another name for character is traits. Next definition, variation. The differences between the characters among the individuals of the same species. For example, if you take human beings, each and every individual is different. But together, we are all human beings. So, differences between the characters among the individuals of the same species, they are called variations. <coughs> Now let us see what is DNA copying. DNA copying is also called DNA replication. Okay, DNA replication. Here it is a process where two identical copies of DNA are being formed from one DNA molecule. The process by which two DNA, uh, two identical copies of DNA are formed from one DNA molecule. And this helps in transfer of information from parent to the offspring. This DNA copying will also lead to variation. Variation in turn will lead to evolution. Once again I repeat, DNA copying it is also known as DNA replication. It is a process where two identical copies of DNA are formed from one DNA molecule. Okay, so this is called DNA copying. What is its use? It may lead to variations. And variations in turn will lead to evolution. Moreover, it helps in the transfer of information Information is nothing but characters from parent to the offspring. Okay. So that's about the DNA copying. Next we move on to something about variations or accumulation of variations. Okay, so during reproduction, okay, the organisms undergo cell division. Okay, at that time, <coughs> there is copying of DNA. Okay, this will lead to variations. Right. These variations are possible only in case of sexual reproduction, not in asexual reproduction. Right. More of variations may occur only in sexual reproduction. Okay. Now, these variations may be harmful or useful. If it is a useful variation, okay, the organisms can adjust itself to the change in the environment. It can adjust itself to the change in the environment and it can survive. So, it's a useful variation. In case of harmful variation, organisms cannot adjust to the change in the environment. So, it may die and it may become extinct. Okay, it may die and it may become extinct. Once again, I repeat, accumulation of variations means, okay, during reproduction, at the time of cell division, there is possibility of DNA copying. That DNA copying there may be some inaccuracies. That inaccuracies will cause variations. And such variations are possible only in sexual reproduction. Right. And these variations may be useful or harmful. When it is useful, the organism is able to adjust to the changing situation and it can survive. When the variation is harmful, the organisms cannot adjust to the changes in the environment 
and it may die and it come extinct, right? Next, we are going to see something about uh, inheritance of characters. <coughs> okay. Actually, the genes, okay, which is very, very essential for the transfer of characters. The genes are present in the chromosomes and the chromosomes are present in the nucleus, okay. The genes are present in the DNA molecule. That DNA molecule is present in the chromosome and the chromosome is present in the nucleus. Once again, I repeat, the factors responsible, okay, that is the characters, okay, which are about to be transferred, they are all present in the genes. The genes are present in the DNA molecule and the DNA molecule is present in the chromosomes and the chromosomes are present in the nucleus, okay. The transfer of that genes, okay, from parent to the offspring it happens like this there is a rule this is the rule of inheritance okay actually one chromosome will be given by the father and the other one by the mother so there is 50 50 contribution from the father as well as the mother okay so that is one thing i have to understand okay both the parents contribute their chromosomes to the child. Okay, that's what you have to understand. That's about the inheritance of characters. Now, we are going to learn something about the monohybrid cross. Okay, Grigor Johan Mendel. Okay. is regarded as the father of genetics. He did a lot of experiments in pea plant. The binomial of pea plant is called Pisum sativa. So he did a lot of uh, experiments in this to prove <coughs> various uh, rules regarding inheritance, okay. He tested a uh, plant with a single character, then he tested plant with uh, two characters and he has established several rules like law of dominance, law of segregation, law of independent assortment, like that he has given various laws pertaining to genetics. Now we will see about monohybrid cross. Okay. In this, a single character is taken into account. Okay, Mendel crossed a tall pea plant with a short pea plant. Okay. Mendel crossed a pea plant for one single character that is the height of the plant. So he took capital T, capital T as pure tall plant and small t, small t as pure dwarf plant. Dwarf means short plant. P for parent. These are the parents. Okay. And these are the gametes. When gametes are formed, it will undergo meiotic division and the number of chromosomes will be reduced to half. So from this pair of homologous chromosome, one T has come here as a gamete and from this one small T has come, these are all the gametes. So when they are crossed, you get a hybrid in the first generation. 
F1 means first generation, we get a hybrid. This hybrid is a tall plant. Okay. Here you can see one capital T, one small t. So this is a hybrid. Here you can uh, understand one thing. The dominant character is tall. The character which is expressed is tall and that is dominant. The character which is suppressed is short and that is recessive character. Okay. The character that which is suppressed is recessive. The character that which is expressed is dominant. So this F1 is now undergoing self-pollination. So you can write it as self. Okay. After that you can uh, do it like a checkerboard like this. So this is F2 generation. In this F2 generation, he observed two characters, two ratios. So Mendel observed two kinds of ratios. One is the phenotypic ratio. It is based on appearance. Based on appearance, here you can see three tall plants. Wherever capital T is there, that is tall, three tall plants and one short plant. So the ratio 3 is to 1. The other ratio is genotypic ratio. It is based on genetic constitution. Here you can see one uh, uh, pair as of parental pair, homozygous, parental, pure, two hybrid varieties but tall and one short. So 1 is to 2 is to 1. That is a genotypic ratio based on genetic constitution. Okay, so two ratios are obtained. So that's about monohybrid cross. So with this we come to the end of this session. In my next uh, video let me explain to you about dihybrid cross. Hope you enjoy this video. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.